Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Drawing and Talking, where we're taking a look at another roleplay repository character named Shonik Mosira. Now, right off the bat, I really, really like this character, not just because of the character concept or how they look, or even their personality and such. No, the thing I like most about this character, right off the bat, first impressions, is the fact that the author, the maker of this character, inserted a pronunciation of their actual name, and I really really appreciate this. Now don't get me wrong, the character's name isn't all that complicated or long, and I think I would have figured it out on my own, but the fact that the pronunciation was inserted is very helpful, and I wish a lot more other people did that with their characters. Seriously, we've had giant long 20 syllable character names, not literally, but it feels like I've seen 20 syllable character names before with no way of actually knowing how to, well, say it properly. Besides her name, the other thing to note about Shonique is the fact that she's not actually a main character. She is considered an NPC slash minor character. What that really means, I'm not 100% sure. Perhaps she's a background character to one of the main characters that the author plays. Perhaps she's in the stable of characters that gets introduced during certain roleplay scenarios. Regardless, she is considered an NPC or minor character. A uh, few facts about her from her character sheets. First things first, she is 31 years old. She's a human. Her career is that she's an acrobatic contortionist, or an acrobat and contortionist. And sexuality-wise, she's an aromantic asexual, so she doesn't really do any of that uh, romance stuff, like, at all. Now, the author also told me that I shouldn't worry about the next three parts, but I'm going to worry about the next three parts. So, once again, in the profile it says her element is water, her animal is octopus, and her mineral is tanzanite. Now, at first I thought this was a thing to do with the world or all their NPCs, and I've checked. All their other NPCs do not have this category in their character sheet, so it must be unique to the world or unique to this character. What does it mean? Are they a waterbender? Do they summon an octopus? Do they have a spirit animal of an octopus? Tanzanite, does she mean she's from Steven Universe? I have no idea. I have so many questions. But none of them are really answered in her backstory or anything like that. I'm worrying about it. Apologies. Appearance. She's a brown-skinned character with dark eyes and a soft face, long black hair that she usually keeps in a bun. She has a slender, somewhat boyish physique and narrow curves with wiry muscle that is just barely visible under her otherwise smooth skin. Her usual slash casual clothes are plain and hang from her somewhat loosely. So they hang from her loosely, I should say. For performances, she keeps a bright red and yellow fitted full body outfit with a small bit of padding under the hips and chest to enhance her figure. For the actual art that I drew, I tried to keep that in mind. I made her uh, figure a bit more curvy than really should in what I hope was an unnatural way. So her badonkadonk, as I'm going to call it, don't really match her legs, which once again do have some minor curves to them, but for the most part are strengthened out as much as I could. If I was trying to draw someone with hips that curvy, I would have made the legs much curvier as well. I hope I got her athletic nature across right. Onto the personality, she is a kind, practical, and generally easygoing woman. She's slow to anger, but on the occasion she does get mad, she can be a frightening thing. And once she's calmed back down, it's often as though nothing ever happened. She usually prefers not to be the center of attention, but as a performer, it's still quite at ease when eyes are on her. Highly perceptive and resourceful, she has on occasion used her performing tools as a weapon to defend herself. I mean, if you're athletic enough to do flips and bend yourself in weird ways, I assume you're athletic enough to punch someone slash kick them when the need comes. Muscles that are used for one thing can probably be used for another, so makes sense. Background. As a child, Shanique was always fascinated with dance, climbing, and acrobatics, and she was often entertained at her family's inn. She never had any interest in taking over the family business, though, nor did she wish to rely on her brother when he took over, nor upon a marriage to sustain her. Instead, she took to traveling with caravans, or occasionally solo, and finding new crowds to entertain. Over time, she fine-tuned her display, adapting the colorful costume and pushing herself to more attention-grabbing feats. Her show now focuses primarily on contortionism and acrobatics, and what she knows of dance is used only to make her show more fluid. As a character, she's relatively fleshed out. She doesn't really have a traumatizing backstory that you see most player characters have. No real call to adventure. Oh, I must avenge my family, or I have to get stronger to defeat the evil lord, or something along those lines. She's an NPC, and while I could 
use her as a play character. She's fine the way she is. Can she be a D&D &D character? Absolutely. Something could happen later on, or maybe she decides to travel with the adventurers to become stronger or better acrobatic. I'm not sure what class she'd be in in the D&D &D setting, but there are plenty of other roleplay systems out there where I'm sure a acrobatic contortionist would have a class. Uh, would she work in LARP? Absolutely. Same thing again, but if you want to play acrobatic contortionist, I would suggest that you are a acrobatic contortionist in real life. Otherwise, you'd just be saying, oh, my character does a handstand. Well, you don't do a handstand. It's a bit immersion breaking, honestly, but it can work. Anyways, that's my talk on Shonique Mosira. This is Freebie Wits, and I hope you've enjoyed things. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.